Hi, this is Matt Whitmer with Brody Precision, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate a legacy JACE running AX to Niagara 4 and put it into a JACE 8000. So before we get started, here's uh, our steps we're going to take here. Uh, first, we're going to pull a backup out of the uh, existing JACE. Uh, then we'll crack that backup open. We'll run it in 3.8. We'll make a backup in 3.8 running on our local machine so that we can run the migration utility um, to get that station up to Niagara 4 and then we'll commission our 8000 using that migrated station. So our first step is to log into our JACE here um, and we're going to make a backup. So before we do that though we need to make sure that we're including our histories and alarms. So we need to go into our services and the backup service and the property sheet of the backup service and get rid of these exclusions in both the directories and the files. So we'll get rid of these guys and these two as well. And we will save. And now we can right click on our station and do a backup. And if I open up my jobs here, we can follow that along to open the jobs up. If you don't see the panel down here on the side, you can go to your windows and sidebars and pull up jobs here. So this is a small just demo station, so it backed up pretty quickly. Um, so we've got that now. So now we will go into the backup itself and crack it open. So a backup is a dist file. Uh, it's really just a zip. So I'm going to copy it and change the extension to a zip and then I'll right click and do an extract all so that we can pull the station out of it so backups got some other information um, it's something we'll probably cover in some other videos um, but for now we're just going to go into our Niagara folder and stations and copy this station out here and we'll go into our latest version of 3.8 and the stations of it. We'll paste it in here. And now I can open up 3.8 and we'll go from there. All right, now we're in 3.8 and we're gonna log into our local platform and open up our application director and start our station that we want to migrate. And it's a good idea to just sit here while this starts up because you may be missing modules that you had in your JACE that you don't have on your machine. Um, but we are good to go here. Station started. So we're going to log into the station now. And we're just going to double check that our backup information stayed the same as far as our exceptions. And it did, because uh, we just want to make sure we get our histories and our alarms. Um, so we're going to right-click now on our station, same thing we did before, do a backup station, uh, keep it at the default location, do a save, pull up our jobs. Again, demo station, so that's going to be quick. You'll probably see that um, take a little bit longer, uh, but we're good to go here. From here, we're just going to open up our console in our latest version of Niagara 4. So you're going to want to make sure you have the latest installed. Um, it's always the best idea for security and for stability reasons to have the latest version, um, especially when you're commissioning a new JACE. Uh, so we're going to open up our console for the latest, which as of recording, this is 4358. So we'll open up the console here, say yes. Um, and the command we're going to run is n4mig. Now, normally it has arguments and stuff after it, um, but if you run it without the arguments, you'll see that you'll get um, a stream of text, which sort of gives you a little bit of help of uh, what the arguments are, and you can sort of define things uh, directly from the command line here with this help. So if you need any help as your parameters and stuff like that, that's the easy way to do it. Um, but the command itself that we're going to run um, is n4mig, and then we're going to point the command at our backup that we just made in 3.8. So for me, that's going to be C colon slash Honeywell. Now, if you're not familiar with the command line, you can hit tab on your keyboard and it will auto complete. Um, so I hit, I typed in 
H O N and then tab and then it auto completed. And then I'm going to go to, I know it's webs. And if you just hit tab again, it'll keep going through all of your things that fit what you just typed in. So I'm going to tab through here until I get to three, eight, two, one, three, which is good. And then I'll go to backups tab. So it auto completes. And then I know my backup starts with dist. I'm sorry. It doesn't start with this. It starts with backup. So, and then I just type that in, hit tab, and then this is the correct backup. I'm going to hit enter, and that's going to run the command. It's going to run the migration on our distribution backup that we made in 3.8. Um, depending on the size of your station, this could take a while, especially considering histories and things like that. Um, but this is just a demo. It's only got a couple spiders in it, so it's going to be quick. Um, you'll see once, you'll, you'll get stopped at a portion here where it asks what template to use. Uh, this is going in a controller, not a supervisor, so we're just going to hit 1. You can also hit uh, C here as well. You can see it migrated to history databases here. Um, and the thing to keep note, we're finished now, but the thing to keep note of is at the bottom here, these important notes. Um, for me, it's just getting rid of the Niagara Fox service. Uh, because that's moved now in Niagara 4, that's a normal thing. You'll see that. Um, but if you're missing modules in Niagara 4 that it needs to do this conversion, you'll see errors related to that here. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your migration. That, that's, that's a pretty important piece. All right, now we're going to move over to Niagara 4. So before I do that, I'm going to scroll down here and start our platform in Niagara 4. Okay, my Niagara 4 platform is running now, so I'm going to open up Niagara 4 here, and I'm going to log into the platform, and we're going to go to the station copier. Now you'll see um, I have the station here on the left side. This was put here automatically by the migration utility, um, and the right side's empty. Now, you don't need to do this step, but it's always a good thing to make sure that it, it runs properly on your machine before you spend the time and effort to put it onto a JACE. It's easier to make the mistake here than it is to make it on the JACE. So I'm going to copy it to the right-hand side. And it's going to tell me that it has history and alarm data, which is good. And we're going to finish. And it's all done. So we'll go to the application director now. And it starts up clean, so we're we're good here. Uh, no problems, no errors, uh, nothing related to modules. We've got everything we need on this machine uh, in this version to install into our JACE and commission it. So we can stop this now. And the next step, last step actually, is going to be to commission the JACE. Now, when you pull JACE out of a box, it's going to be at uh, 192.168.1.140 as its default IP address. For Johnson, it's 192.168.149. Um, so I'm running a JSON on our network here. Uh, it has a different IP address, but everything else is exactly the same. So just keep in mind this 222 for you may be 140 or 149. So I'm going to log into the platform here. Again, uh, take a look at the documentation that's accompanying this video. Um, we've got a list of all the default credentials uh, for all the different types of JSONs for the platform. Uh, so we're logged into the platform here. We can see it's empty. There's no, there's no station in it. Um, so what we need to do is right-click on our platform and start up a commission. Uh, you can leave all of the default stuff checked. Um, it might also be a good idea to check the sync time, and if you're um, using the JSON in a different language, the lexicons, uh, you'll need those as well. Uh, so you'll need to put a license in the JSON. Uh, I'll just tell it to put in a license. The license is already here in my case, but it's always good to, to pull the latest one in from the licensing server, assuming you have internet access. Uh, the next step... Uh, is going to ask you the runtime profiles. So modules in Niagara 4 are split up now uh, between these runtime profiles. Um, it's always a, it's pretty much a 
good idea just to do both of these UX and WB ones. The UX will let you do um, your HTML5 and user interface stuff, and the WB will let you do your Workbench-related stuff. If you don't have both of these checked, you're going to run into issues with things like the Spider tool, and the errors that come out related to that, related to these missing, um, aren't exactly the most descriptive. So starting off with these two checked is a good idea. Next, we'll pick our station to copy over. And we'll say we want all of the files, and we want to include our histories and alarms. That's what it's saying here. And here are all the modules that the station needs. Um, you're probably good here. Uh, by default, it might be good just to run through the list and see if you are missing anything that you know you might need. Um, in the future that it's you don't have in the station now, um, it's good to add it now so you don't have to worry about it later. Um, but as a general rule of thumb, you're probably okay with what the station sees or the, the commissioning wizard sees as the station needing. So we'll hit next here. And we're going to install all the core files. And we'll hit next again. And here's where your IP settings are. Um, this is going to look different for you, like I said earlier. Uh, so depending on the network situation, you'll you'll need to change these IP addresses uh, to get onto a building network. But if it's just standalone, you're probably okay leaving it as the default IP address. Uh, so we'll hit next. And we're going to set a passphrase. Uh, by default, the passphrases are the passwords for the platform. Uh, so this is a Vicon Jace. So this is going to be Niagara. And I'm just going to set one here real quick. And in Niagara 4, you're required to make a platform user that is not the typical default. So you have to change that. So I'm going to change mine real quick. And in Niagara 4, you can add in multiple platform users. So by default, obviously, you're used to having one. But if you wanted to, you could add multiple, which would make it easier. Say down the line, someone's no longer allowed to have access. You can, you can pull them out if need be. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as the one. And last step, uh, just check through here. Make sure everything looks good. Um, I'm not changing any IP setting stuff, but if you are, you'll see that here. So you can just confirm it uh, and then hit finish and you will start commissioning. All right, the commissioning is complete, so I can hit close here. Going to need to give the Jace a minute or two to come back up. Um, so we'll just wait here and wait for that to come up. All right, so our 8,000 is back up, and I can log into it here. And we'll take a peek at the application director and make sure our station comes up. And there's one last step that we need to hit once the station's back up. Okay, so our station's up and running now. So I can log in and we have one last change to make. So those exceptions that we got rid of uh, so that we could have the alarms and histories brought into our backup. It's a good idea to add those back in because when you're making changes down the road, you don't want to have to be bringing in months worth of histories with your backups that you make once you're done for the day. So we go back into our backup service here and we're going to add our exceptions back in, which are going to be asterisk dot hdb colon and asterisk dot adb colon, oops, colon, and we have to add in the directory ones as well, and they're going to be caret caret history. and file carrot carrot alarm and save it and you are done so if we go back here and look at our steps uh, you went from a backup that you took of your legacy jace you ran it in 3.8 you made your backup while you were in 3.8 
then you migrated to Niagara 4 using that 3.8 backup, using the console in Niagara 4 um, and the N4 MIG command. And then we commissioned our 8000 using that migrated station. And that's it. Thanks.